Your lesson today was on finding the perimeter of a shape. I sent you a video on finding the perimeter of a shape. Most of the page had that. But then they gave you this weird part on here where it says draw and label a rectangle that has a given perimeter. So then you gotta do whatever the video showed you in reverse. They're giving you the perimeter and then you have to draw the shape with all the sides added up that equal that number. So I'll give you an example of how to do that. On this one, I'll give you an example for 32, but I'll give you some advice for all of these. If you are drawing a square, that's a type of uh, that's a type of rectangle. If you take all these numbers and divide it by four, because a square has four equal sides, if you take these and divide it by four, then you can easily draw a square and then just have all the sides the same. This one equals 20, so 20, split that up by four, 20 divided by four, that equals five, so you can have a uh, square with five, 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 that equals 20. This one's 28. If you divide that by four, that equals seven. So you can draw a square with seven, 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 seven. That all equals 28. This one's 32. So divide that by four, that equals eight. So you can have a square, eight, 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 eight. All the sides are eight. That's an easy way of doing that if the numbers can be divided by four. All these you can divide it by four. So you can make squares. That's a type of rectangle. We'll do the uh, 32 inches one. Okay, so I'm drawing a drawing a rectangle that is going to be 32 inches. It doesn't matter the the size of this. Let's make sure it's reasonable. It'll match up with uh, what numbers you put. Okay, so 32 inches. So we know if we do like a square where all the sides are equal, we can do 888. I gave you that example. So if we do like a rectangle. Instead of using 8, so let me use 10, which would make this side 10 also. It's a rectangle, so these two sides are equal. All right, so we have 10 plus 10. Right now we have 20. I'm trying to get to 32, so that leaves me with 12 inches more to get to 32. So now I'm thinking these two are equal. What two numbers, when added together, will equal 12? If you said six, you are correct. Six, one over here. Six inches, all the way over there. All right, so 10 plus six plus 10 plus six, that'll give us 32. So that's another way of doing that. Just make sure when you are adding, these two are equal, if you're doing a rectangle, these two sides are equal, these two sides are equal. And when you add everything together, it equals whatever number they're giving you.